This time I'll be knitting a calla lily. For work you need three balls of yarn, white, yellow and green, two double pointed knitting needles, a crochet hook, scissors and a tapestry needle. Let's begin knitting. First work with green yarn knitting the cord that will be a stock for the flower. To make the cord you need to work with the double pointed knitting needles. Make a slip knot and cast on four stitches on a needle. Three and the last one four. Now begin knitting the cord. Knit all these stitches one, two, three, four. Then do not turn the work, slide these leaves all the way to the other point of your main needle and continue knitting the next row the exact same way. Knit four. Knit the first stitch and make it tight to bring the end of the previous row closer to the beginning of this row, forming the cord in this way. And then knit the next three stitches. Now again, to work the next row, slide your work to the other point of the needle and knit all the stitches. Here I'm knitting into the back leg of stitches, creating twisted stitches. In this way the cord become more elastic. If it's easier for you, you can knit as normal. Again, slide the work to the other point and knit 4. Keep working in this way until you reach the desired lengths of your flower stalk. Here I made my cord long enough. Now let's widen the cord a bit to slowly come to the flower. To make the cord wider, knit the first stitch. Then knit the next stitch twice, first knit into the back leg and then knit into the front leg of the same stitch. Then continue and knit one back in front and criss, knit into the back leg and then knit into the front leg of the same stitch. And knit the last stitch. Now we have six live stitches on the needle. To continue the cord, work the same, slide the work to the other point of the needle and knit all six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. To work the next row, slide the work to the other point and knit all the stitches. It is not easy to knit into the back leg, so for your convenience you can knit normal stitches, not the twisted ones. Continue and knit 6 or 7 rows of the cord. Here I made several more rows of the cord. Now let's join the white yarn to work to begin knitting the flower. To do this, knit the first stitch with the new yarn, then knit the next 4 stitches, 2, 3, four and purl the last stitch. First row is made, turn to the back, work row two, slip the first stitch and purl five. One, two, three, four and the last one five. Turn, work row three right side, slip the first stitch, then knit four stitches twice. Knit into the back leg and then knit into the front leg of the same stitch. Repeat again, one and two. Knit into the back leg, then into the front leg. One and two. And purl the last stitch to complete the row. Turn, work row four wrong sides. Slip the first stitch and purl each stitch across the row. Now turn the work and begin row 5. 
slip one, then knit eight back in front and criss, knit into the back leg, and then knit the same stitch into the front leg. Again, one and two. One and two. Knit into the back leg and into the front leg. One, two, one, two. The next stitch, one, two, and the last one. Knit into the back leg and into the front one. And purl the last stitch. Turn row six wrong side, slip one, and purl each stitch across. Work all the way till the end of this row. and purl the last stitch. Now turn row 7 right side. Slip the first stitch, knit 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and purl the last stitch to complete the row. Turn row 8, slip 1 and purl 8 stitch across. Right now we have 18 stitches on the needle. Row is completed, turn the work to the right and begin knitting row 9. Slip the first stitch then knit four, one, two, three, four, and knit one back in front and criss. Knit the next stitch into the back leg, and then the same stitch into the front leg. Continue knit five, two, three, four, five, and again knit one back in front and criss. Repeat, knit five, two, three, four, five, and increase the last stitch to two stitches. Knit a stitch twice. Now turn row 10 round side. Bring the working yarn forward and slip the first stitch purl wise, then purl each stitch till the end. Now turn row 11 right side, slip the first stitch purlwise, then knit 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now knit 1 back in front and criss. Continue knit 6, 3, 4, 5, six and again increase the next stitch to two stitches. Repeat one, two, three, four, five, six and in the next stitch twice into the back leg and into the front leg. Now turn the work, work row 12, slip one as if to purl and purl each stitch till the end. Now turn the work to the right, row 13. Slip the first stitch purl wise, then knit 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Knit 1 back in front and criss. Then knit 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, knit the next stitch twice. 
and repeat knit seven three four five six seven and increase the next stitch to two stitches now turn row 14 slip the first stitches of two purl and then purl each stitch across the row Row 14 is completed, turn, begin row 15, slip 1, knit 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, now knit 1 back in front, increase, continue knit 8, 3, this one 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again make an increase. Repeat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and increase the next stitch to two stitches. Turn, begin row sixteen. Bring the working yarn forward, slip the first stitch as if to purl, and then purl each stitch across the row. Now continue with row 17, right side, slip 1, knit 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and knit 1 back in front and criss. Continue, knit 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine and again make an increase repeat knit nine three four five six seven eight nine and knit the last stitch twice turn row 18 bring the working yarn forward slip the first stitches of to purl and then purl each stitch across the row Here, we're almost done with this row. Now turn the work and begin knitting row 19. This is the last row where I'm going to increase the stitch count. So slip the first stitch, knit 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, knit one back in front and criss, continue knit ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again knit one back in front and criss. Repeat, knit ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and knit the next stitch, the last one, twice. Now turn, work row 20. Bring the working yarn forward and slip the first stitch as if to purl and then purl each stitch across the row. Purl a stitch till the end. Mm -hmm. 
Right now we have 36 live stitches. Turn to the right side, knit four more rows of stockinette without increasing. So in each row I slip the first stitch and purl the last stitch for the H. I'm working row 21, knit all the stitches. Do not increase the stitch count. Purl the last stitch, then turn to the back, row 22, slip the first stitch, and purl each stitch till the end. Now continue and work two more rows of stockinette. Turn to the right, row 23, slip the first stitch, knit till the last stitch, and purl the last stitch. Knit 8 stitch till the last one and purl the last stitch. Turn row 24 wrong side, slip the first stitch and purl each stitch till the end. Now turn to the front and begin binding off the stitches. Work row 25. Bind off 6 stitches on the beginning of this row by knitting 2 together, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I bound off the first 6 stitches, then continue and knit a stitch till you reach the last one. And now purl the last stitch. Turn row 26 wrong side. Slip the first stitch, bring the working yarn forward and put the first stitch back onto the main needle. And now bind off the first six stitches by purling two together. Two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. Then purl each stitch across the row. Once the row is completed, turn, work row 27. Again, bind off the first six stitches by knitting two together. Two, three, four, five, and 
six. Then knit each stitch till you reach the last one. And purl the last stitch. Turn row 28. Again, bring the working yarn forward, placing it between the first and the second loops, and bind up the first six stitches by purling two together. I did two, three, four, five, and six. And then purl each stitch across the row. On the needle we have 12 stitches, continue the same, work row 29, bind up the first 6 stitches by knitting 2 together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and knit the rest 5 stitches. Now turn row 30, bind up the rest stitches, bring the working yarn forward and bind off by purling two together. One, two, three, four, and five. Work until you have one loop on the needle. Now continue working with a crochet hook. Here as you can see this last loop is right in the middle of the last row, so to bring it to the end of this last row, work a slip stitch through an edge stitch across. Then it is going to be easier for us to hide the tail. So insert the hook through the stitch, take the working yarn, pull it through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Slip stitch is made. Continue and work in this way till the end of this row. Here I have several more stitches to work through. And the last slip row is completed. You can cut off the yarn, leaving the tail about 20 centimeters long and secure the end. Now I'm going to begin crocheting the pistol for our Kala Lily. The pistol work with the yellow yarn, make a slip knot, cast on four stitches, and knit the exact same cord as we did for the stock. Here I have four stitches on the main needle, knit four, one, two, three, and four. Slide the work to the second point of the same needle and continue knitting the second row. Knit four, and again slide the work to the other point and knit all the stitches. Continue and make the cord as long as needed. Here is my cord. I think it is long enough. I cut off the yarn and threaded the yarn tail into the needle. To complete the cord, bring all the stitches from the knitting needle to the yarn needle and pull the tail end all the way through these stitches, like this. 
pull the tail tightening the end and I will fix it with a stitch and then you can hide this tail inside of the cord. Let me just bring this tail end all the way to the beginning of this cord. That's it. The center is ready. Now to complete the flower, place this crochet pistol inside then make the flower as you want it to be and using this white yarn tail and working with a yarn needle make a seam right here here is my color lily it is ready this yellow pistol i fixed on the bottom here and hide the tail and inside of this green cord the white fabric I joined in a round by making a seam. Our beautiful flower is ready. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free tutorials.